guys, it's Marissa. Today I thought I would show you guys some of my favorite books. I have a extensive list and a big pile of books over here and I thought I would show you guys some of my favorites and tell you why. Um, I'm a big book reader. I love to read. Uh, it's honestly one of my favorite things to do and I have a wide variety of them. Um, most of these books are like young adult novels so that's generally what I do like to read but I do also read a lot of self-help books too. Um, if you want me to make a separate video specifically on self-help books especially about anxiety let me know and I will totally do that but I thought I would share some of my favorite um, young adult novels so let's get started with those. The first book that I have is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and actually the whole series is really good. Um, this actually was recently made into a movie in case you did not know which is out in theaters right now. I went to go see it and I'm normally a person who isn't a big book to movie adaptation kind of person and this was pretty good. There were the movie was pretty good. There were some major changes, but nothing that bothered me too much about them. But the book itself is so good. It comes with lots of pictures inside to help give you visualizations of what things might look like. And since it is very based on um, children who have peculiarities. So yeah, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and the whole trilogy is just amazing. My next book series, most of these are actually series. My next book series that I really really like is actually Zoe Sugg's Girl Online and Girl Online on Tour books. She's coming out with her third one very very soon and I am so excited. I read through these books like so fast. Um, they are so good and Zoe is such an amazing writer and she developed the story really well I think and I think that it's so great because she incorporated um, a lot of things that she felt are important in her personal life so anxiety and stuff like that and I really like when um, authors do that and also I'm just a really big fan of Zoe Sugg in general and I just love these books so much and I'm so excited for the third one to come out. My next couple of favorite books are actually from all of the same author, John Green, who is also on YouTube. He's part of the Vlogbrothers and he's written I think about five and I have um, three of my favorites right here. The first one, of course, is The Fault in Our Stars. If you have not read this or if you have not seen the movie, then I don't know what kind of bus you were on when this was really popular, but it's still so popular and it's so good. When I read this book, I was on a flight um, to Hawaii a couple years ago and I was reading it and I cried at the end of the book and um, a stewardess came up to me and asked if I was okay because a passenger had saw me crying and wanted to make sure that I was okay and I told her yes I'm okay this book just messed up with my heart so much so The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. My second favorite John Green book is Looking for Alaska. I really like this book. This is one of my personal favorites from him and actually one of my personal favorites of all time. It's so amazing. John Green makes the most interesting characters that like the most interesting things. All of his characters are very interesting and they all have these quirky little things about them that make stories so amazing. So for example in this one the main character's obsession is famous last words and he's kind of obsessed with what his famous last words are going to be. And it's kind of based around that. It's kind of like a continuing theme through it. But Looking for Alaska is definitely such a good book and if you have not read it, you definitely should. My last favorite John Green book is of course Paper Towns. It is um, a story, if you haven't seen the movie, it's a story about a boy who tries to solve a mystery of the girl who lives across the street from him and 
it's that kind of adventure going through that with his friend and trying to find this girl and um, it's a, an amazing book it's also an amazing movie adaptation um, this one and Fault in Our Stars were both made into movie adaptations and they were really good like they were really true to the book and I think the reason why they were so true to the book is because John Green was actually there on set for most of the filming and um, I love that so much because I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big movie, um, book to movie adaptation kind of person, but this was a really good one. And yep, Paper Towns by John Green. That's my last of the John Green books that I really like. My next book is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven. She is an amazing, amazing writer, and this is an amazing, amazing story. It's about a girl who recently lost her sister, and she makes friends with this boy who has serious mental health issues, and it's such a great story about mental health and love, and just trying to find your way through life, um, and it's such an amazing book. I read it in like two days because I could not put it down. So. All the Bright Places is such a really, really good book. My next book is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I think that's how you pronounce her name. It's Y-O-O-N, Yoon. And um, it is about a girl who has a, um, who's basically allergic to everything so she can never leave her house. And then she meets this boy who she wants to be friends with and it's kind of her journey, um, kind of figuring out herself and uh, trying to make friends even though it's, basically impossible for her to and it's got a really big twist at the end and it is so good I read this in literally like four hours because I just could not put it down um, it's in kind of the form of emails and um, I am messages because she can't leave her house so it's um, a lot of the book is based in that and I hear this is going to be made into a movie too and um, Amandala Sterling who played Rue in the Hunger Games is actually the main character in um, this book. She plays the main character so I really hope that that's a good um, movie adaptation of this book too because I just want this book to be made into a really good movie. My last favorite that I have in this book favorites is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Or Rowell? Rowell, yeah. Rowell. And um, it's about this boy and he doesn't have a lot of friends and he makes friends with this girl and um, she's kind of weird and he ends up they end up having a relationship and they end up trying to figure out um, their relationship through some really tough times in this book um, they're only 16 and it kind of shows how your first love can be truly um, heartbreaking and it's so it's such a good book I love this so much. The characters are so quirky and real and that's what makes it so much more real and their situations that they're struggling with are so real as well and that's why I love this book so much because it's a fictional story but it's but it's such real situations that happen. So yeah, Eleanor and Park, which is by Rainbow Rural. But yeah, those are all of my um, favorite books. Well, most of my favorite books from um, the past couple of years. If you want me to do a series, if you want me to make this into a series, because I really think that I could, because these are just my favorite books as of recently. I have favorite books from when I was a kid. I have favorite books from when I was in high school. I have favorite books from when I was... I have favorite genres of books. Um, so I really kind of want to make this into a series of some of my favorite books. And I also think that it's really important for this generation to be reading and to be learning about um, all of these different things through books and all of these different problems and situations that may be coming in through their life and I think that reading um, 
something similar in a fictional way really is helpful to those people who are dealing with those kind of problems. So yeah, those are some of my favorites. Let me know what your current favorite book is right now or maybe a book that you really, really liked that you read over the summer or something like that. And leave me some suggestions in the comments below on maybe something that I could read next. Um, but yeah, until next time, I hope you all have beautiful lives. Bye!